in medical imaging, different modalities reveal different characteristics of the human body. In acquiring images, the quality of the image and the visibility of the features should be considered. It depends on the equipment, skill of the operator, and other factors such as exposure and imaging time. This short lecture will introduce you to the common factors important in image quality for medical imaging. Let's start. The ability of medical professionals to successfully accomplish their task strongly depends on the quality of the images acquired by your imaging system. So we have this system. And the word quality and the word image quality, we mean the degree to which an image allows medical professionals to accomplish their goals. The, these goals include uh, the diagnosis, let's say, of your patient. So you want to diagnose a patient using an x-ray uh, machine or it can also aid in making the treatment plan of a patient, let's say a cancer patient uh, doing his radiation therapy treatment. So image quality is also important. It depends on the particular imaging modality used. When we talk about the quality of a medical image, this is determined by the imaging method, the characteristic of the equipment, and the imaging variable selected by the operator. And here are, again, some of the factors that affects your image quality. Image quality is not a single factor, but actually it is a composite of at least six factors. Uh, for this lecture, we will discuss six factors. First, we have the contrast. Second, resolution. Third, noise. Fourth, artifacts. Fifth, distortion. And the last one, six, accuracy. Contrast quantifies the difference uh, between image characteristic uh, that includes intensities in shades of gray or color of an object or a certain feature within an object. And of course, considering the surrounding objects or background. So this is the key word here. Contrast is difference. Uh, the physical contrast of an object represent a difference in one or more tissue characteristics. For example, uh, let's say uh, we have radiography. For radiography, the object can be imaged relative to their surrounding tissue if there is an adequate difference in their density or in their atomic number Z. And if the object is sufficiently thick, of course, then we can also further define uh, high contrast. When you say high contrast, it means uh, we, can, uh, we can easily identify the parts of an image. And for low contrast, it is difficult to identify those parts because of their low difference in gray, uh, gray scale, let's say. Medical imaging is the process of converting tissue characteristics into uh, a visual image. So for, for, from this, from the tissue characteristic to the shades of gray after we have done the medical imaging process. And contrast is important here. When a value is assigned to a contrast, it refers to the difference between two specific points or areas in an image. So let's say uh, we have a pixel value uh, somewhere here. Let's say this is a tumor, this red uh, thing here. Then uh, it translates to this one for, for, uh, for the shades of gray. Then we have another pixel value uh, here. Then it translated to this value for the shades of gray. The difference between these two intensity values or pixel values refers to your contrast. The structures in the human body vary not only in its physical contrast but also in its size. It ranges from large organs, uh, bones, to small features such as the trabecular uh, patterns and microcalcifications. Image blur reduces the contrast and the resolution or the detail of the image. Well, we have this general rule. The smallest object 
or detail that can be imaged has approximately the same dimensions as those of the image blur. And low resolution image uh, means we have a lack in the fine details in our image. Image noise, sometimes referred to as image model, gives an image a textured or grainy appearance. Object visibility is often reduced by the presence of noise because uh, the noise um, usually mask image features. In terms of medical imaging, nuclear medicine uh, images tend to have the highest noise. The source and the amount of noise depend on the imaging method. So the source, the amount, and the type of noise. Next, we have artifacts. Another problem is that most imaging methods can create image features that do not represent a body structure or object. So let's say uh, you're imaging this object, then after doing the imaging process, you saw something in the head part of your image, which is not necessarily a part of your object. Uh, these are image artifacts. Uh, the problem is it can obscure a part of an image or may be interpreted as anatomical feature which is not. Medical image should not only make internal body objects visible but should give an accurate impression of their size, shape, and relative positions. An imaging procedure can, however, introduce some distortion of these factors. Lastly, but definitely one of the most important things in medical image is accuracy. The quality of medical images should be judged on their utility in the context of a certain application, clinical application. For example, medical images that increase the chance to detect tumors, let's say in nuclear medicine, should be used or preferred to image uh, with poor tumor detectability. So thus, uh, we are interested in the accuracy of our medical images in the context of medical application. And when we say accuracy, it means both the conformity to truth and clinical utility. Now, let's go to the summary. Components associated uh, with the medical imaging process is shown in this drawing of mine based on sprawls. We have the patient here. This represents the patient. Then we have the tumor that we want to detect. That is the goal of our imaging procedure. This will be our input signal that will be uh, given to our imaging system. Our imaging system can be adjusted uh, with its various parameters. Uh, can be the KVP, let's say the tube current, the tube voltage, and other parameters important in uh, medical imaging. And this is manipulated by our operator, which is the, let's say, the radiation technologies. And we have these uh, factors that we, we have discussed in the previous slides. The ability of an observer to detect signs of a certain pathologic process depends on a combination of three main factors. So it includes the image quality, the viewing condition, and the observer performance characteristic. Hey guys, I hope you have learned something in this video. If you like my content, please consider subscribing my YouTube channel, JP Academia. And if you're new in YouTube, there is a button right down below this video. Yes, click that to subscribe. See you then. Bye, guys.